Welcome back to the Tennessee Frontier. I appreciate you all tuning in. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please consider doing so. It would help us out a lot in creating better content on down the road and help to ensure that what we are doing here isn't for nothing. Now, if you haven't watched the last video of me trying to haul a load of logs up Toby's driveway, you can do that by following the link on the screen here or click the one down in the description. So Toby ended up reaching back out to me about delivering another load of firewood logs and I was pretty happy about that. Not only to get the business, but also to get a second chance of making it up his driveway. I reached out to Larky to see if he'd be around and to see if he could be posted up at the top of the driveway with his tractor just in case I didn't make it. As always, he was happy to lend a hand. On delivery day, as I was coming around the bend getting ready for my approach, I noticed that the phone line support had been moved to the higher side of the driveway. That meant I'd have even more overhead clearance than before. And that's all I needed to see. There wouldn't be any worrying about catching the line or pole this time, and there wouldn't be any hesitation. So I didn't hold back. Yeah, I think we're in business this time. If we're not farming.
next time on the Tennessee Frontier. Before I start uploading sawmill videos, I'd like to take a look back at one of the largest urban log prospects I've ever tackled. <laughs>